Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Warhammer 40,000 Imperium video. Now, as per usual, if you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below. I love hearing about from you guys. It goes an absolute massive way to help the channel too. And without further ado, let's crack on with it. So, Warhammer Imperium, of course, has just released issue four. Uh, so hopefully everybody's been able to get hands-on copies. Uh, if you haven't, fingers crossed you get one before next week. Um, from next week, it should start going a little bit harder to get hold of, I imagine, because if it's anything like Mortal Realms magazine, a lot of places will stop carrying it after the fourth issue. Um, so hopefully you're able to get your hands on a copy of the first four issues and you're subscribed or you have it reserved and especially on order from a news agent or anything like that as well. Really, really hope you get your collection and there's going to be a lot of good stuff that we can get in all of this as well. So really, really good stuff to see. Now, a few weeks ago, I went through the list of what's coming in the first 10 issues um, as this information was mostly provided by uh, farhammer.com. Now, farhammer.com, if you don't know, is a fantastic website. It's really, really good for, for your resources to do with Warhammer and everything like that. So really worth checking out. And they list the contents for the magazines, which is really, really handy. Uh, if you'd like knowing what's coming up and what to look forward to and what issues you might want to order multiples of. Now, talking of the issues and upcoming issues, I went after we went through the first 10, we kind of, I thought we won't find out for quite a while. However, Farhammer.com's article has been updated with issues 11, 12, 13 and 14 as well and we have some really really good stuff to look forward to so some really really good stuff to look forward to and without further ado i suppose we should check out what's coming in issue 11. so issue 11 we're getting two things we're getting a medium dry brush which is a really really handy piece of kit and definitely worth picking up just to get hold of one of them uh, and it's going to be pretty handy to have it's going to be really really good uh, because dry brushing is really really good fun to do and it helps improve your models fantastically and the medium dry brush from citadel is actually a really really good brush as well so definitely worth grabbing yourself one of these the other thing we get is the space marine librarian in phobos armor now this model is brilliant it's a really really nice model with all the leather work that's been put on there and the kind of cloak and kind of that's been put over the top of him it, it just looks fantastic it's a really really nice model i'm not gonna lie it's a cool looking space marine um one that's going to be snapped up by a lot of scalpers i imagine and he's definitely going to be worth picking up and definitely definitely an essential part to your space marine army as well so really, really good stuff to see this. Um, definitely one I'm really, really looking forward to, and I can't wait to get my hands on because it's going to be um, it's going to be a good one. So it'll be good fun. Issue twelve is a paint issue. Now, with it being a paint issue, we're going to actually get three pots of paint though. So we're getting Agrax Earth Shade, which is fantastically handy for a lot of the paint work that you're going to be doing. We get. Canoptech Alloy, which is another fantastic paint, uh, fantastic layer paint as well. It's a metallic, uh, so this is really, really good for all of your uh, Necrons and stuff like that as well. And we also get Screamer Pink as well, which is uh, kind of a reddish pink shade. Definitely worth having in your kind of your collection of paints for the models. So it should be really, really good fun to have this one as well. And that, that's generally it. So you are seeing a bit of a saving. Not a massive, massive saving, um, but hopefully this will be kind of a Kickstarter as well because three pots of paint is actually really, really good. Um, if it's anything like Mortal Realms, we might only see two pots of paint in a lot of, pa in a lot of packs, but hopefully it will be an actual f three pots of paint per time. That's the hope anyway. Issue 13, we get more minis. So we're going to get Space Marine Assault Intercessors. Now, these are really, really good stuff. Now, from reading the article on um, it's these are the one models that originally came with the Indomitus, Indomitus 
box uh, and also come with the command edition and the elite editions um, and normally you would get two sprues if you had indomitors now the sprue has been split up from what Fauhammer is saying and um, they're still pretty cool models the sergeant that comes in this set can apparently be built in three ways as well which is going to be really really good so it's going to be able to provide a bit of a uniqueness to your armies so if you want to kind of bulk them out very very quickly get multiple copies if you can of this magazine because you'll be able to build up quite a few of them in one go and have a, a smaller collection of them and have your if you really really wanted you could build up your sergeant in different ways it's entirely up to you but it's a pretty handy trick to kind of bulk out your army a bit quicker which is really really good and it looks like it should be good fun as well uh they are space marines so they are generally looking all the same to a lot of people um but very very handy to have with this one and then issue 14 is our first scenery issue now with this we get the Minutorium armoured containers um, so this will be the first of three sets apparently just like Conquest was um, I didn't have Conquest so I don't 100% know but I will 100% take Farhammer's words for it because they are normally 100% spot on they are really really good for that uh, and this is part of the Minutorium armoured container set which contains free kits so the savings not super huge but uh, for one you would get for essentially one set you would get one container three barrels and three ammo boxes a large ammo box as long as well with a couple of bolters and some of the bits and pieces to decorate your scenery and stuff like that as well so it's actually quite handy it's going to be pretty cool to have a uh, first bit of scenery for the collection as well so you've got many different ways that you can paint it up and make it look pretty cool and some really really good stuff this will actually spice up your game as well quite heavily which is always very very fun to have and that is generally it that's all we know so far so when the article gets updated I will probably do another video at some point so when we get from issues 15 through to 19 which you will more than likely be uh, but this takes us up until early December and yeah a lot to look forward to some really really good stuff coming from a magazine um, I'm quite excited considering I'm fairly new to 40k and I'm not that no, kind of familiar with it I am really really looking forward to seeing a lot more that we can get on here so it should be good fun right I'm gonna leave it there but thank you very very much for watching uh, if you want to check out any of more information as well pop onto powerhammer.com of course this video is not sponsored I'm just giving them a good shout out because they're fantastic guys give them a check out there's a load of good articles on there to read through lots of little bits and pieces and reviews for certain products as well so definitely worth a check out thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye now